Y'all can y'all can keep this game. Through these ancient sites around the Y'all can have this, bro. You're trash, bro. <laughs> you guys are trash. Cinematic producer. The Indiana Jones game looks absolutely fantastic, and that's a problem for PlayStation fanboys. Now, I know a lot of people that aren't PlayStation fanboys, just people in general, have been kind of skeptical about the game, mainly about the game being first person and not third person. And to those people, I'd like to say you constantly complain about developers not taking risks and not being original, right? And now these people take a risk and make a first-person Indiana Jones game, even though everybody knows that third-person would probably work better. And now you're upset that the game isn't like Uncharted. Like, come on, what do you want? <laughs> but I genuinely believe that this could be an amazing game. My only problem with the game is, or I have two problems. One, if the whip doesn't work well, right, the game sucks. It has to feel well when using the whip, it has to feel right. Uh, which is something I won't know until I play the game. And the second part is there is actually a second protagonist, a female, which is not a problem, but I hope that her sections aren't going to be like MJ sections in Spider-Man 2, because that ruins the entire- the entirety of Spider-Man, why I never finished the first game, was because of how shit the MJ sections were, okay? So I'm just hoping that the- I don't know, I think she's called Diane or something sections in this uh, Indiana Jones game, I hope they're actually good and not shit. But even though, you know, I am still kind of on the fence about the game, even though I think it looks amazing, there's still some things that I might take issue with that I'm not sure about yet. PlayStation fanboys have already made up their mind. The game sucks, it's bad, and they're coping about it on Twitter because obviously they want it. They really want this game, okay? They desperately want this game. They've been pretending that they're gonna get this game for the past couple months, and now that it's been revealed, and surprise, surprise, it's not coming to PS5, they're pissed. So let's just look at their tweets. Have a good laugh. Nah, this is absolute trash and only first person. Xbox keeping L's. We all know, by the way, we all know that if this game had been third person, right, like most people were expecting, all the PlayStation fanboys right now would be talking about how much of an Uncharted clone it is. But because they can't do that, they have to shit on the fact it's first person. And personally, you know, I think that making the game first person is a great creative decision that they took because discovering and exploring tombs in first person is going to be completely different than in Tomb Raider or Uncharted, which are both in third person, and the vibe and the feel of it is going to be completely different in a very good way. Like, I saw in the trailer, I fucking like that shit, dude. When he's like, uh, having the fight in the tomb, or when he's like, walking past the rats with his lighter, that, that shit's cool, you don't really get that, that same feeling with a third person game. Like I said, the only problem I have with it being first person is if the whip is going to work correctly or not. Uncharted really grabbed Tomb Raider and Indiana Jones by the throats, established the gold standard and never looked back. I think this is so funny because Uncharted is inspired by Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider is inspired by Indiana Jones. So it's it's not really true that, you know, this, this was established by Uncharted. It, it's not true at all, actually. And it's not even like they did it the best because, well, I mean, it's a, an opinion obviously, but I'm of the opinion that the Tomb Raider games, the new Tomb Raider games, are better than the Uncharted games. And this Indiana Jones game isn't even that similar to the Uncharted game. First of all, obviously, it's in first person. And even from what I've seen from the combat and shit like that, it doesn't look to be very similar to uh, Uncharted, which Uncharted is very heavily inspired by Tomb Raider and Gears of War, believe it or not, with the cover-based shooting. That's actually what the developer and the creator of Uncharted said, I'm not making it up. But to claim Uncharted set this standard is kinda... It's, it's not really true. I'm a huge Indiana Jones fan, anybody under 40 years old, big cat. Hey yeah, guys, there are no Indiana Jones fans under the age of 40, same way there aren't any Star Wars fans under the age of 40. Uh, like, this is retarded. Okay, Indiana Jones is an iconic franchise, an iconic character that even I, I'm 20 years old, right? As a kid, even I was exposed to Indiana Jones through toys like the Lego sets, through games like, well, the Lego games, 
and through the movies. Right? I'm not gonna pretend I'm a huge fan of Indiana Jones because I'm not, but I have seen the movies. I played with Indiana Jones, Jones toys when I was a kid. I'm aware of who he is, right? This is the dumbest fucking statement ever, trying to make it seem like Indiana Jones is, is irrelevant to a modern day audience. It's not. It's an incredibly iconic franchise. How a PlayStation first party looks in 2016 versus Xbox first party on the world's most powerful console in 2025. Absolutely depressing. A 10 year old difference and they can't even get close. Yeah, so it's very clear that the new Indiana Jones game does look better than Uncharted 4. It, it just does, I'm sorry. I know that with recent generations, like the gap between them is getting smaller when we, we don't live in the NES, SNES and 64 days where graphics change drastically every single generation unless you're going for hyper realism like hellblade yeah that looks miles better than games like uncharted 4 but normal games that don't go for hyper realism but just go for an art style like indiana jones they still look better than previous generations just the gap is a lot closer it's it's more in the details i mean this is coming from the same people who claimed a couple years ago that the human eye can't see past 30 fps so i shouldn't be surprised they can't see the difference between these two pictures there is no hype for Indiana Jones game, lol. Less than 400k views so far. Associate anything with Xbox and watch it become irrelevant. Nothing touches the hype and the craze of PlayStation exclusive games. Yeah, so this is something new that PlayStation fanboys have been doing. They did the same thing with the Blade game. They'll take a screenshot of the trailer when it's out for like 12 hours, right? Say, oh, it, it only got a hun couple hundred thousand views. Look at this PlayStation trailer that's been out for like three fucking years. Look how many views that got. Like, it's th like look here. Right? 16 hours ago, Indiana Jones gameplay trailer comes out, 300k views, right? And then they compare it to a Spider-Man 2 and a Rise of Ronin trailer, which are both out for a couple of months and have gotten millions of views, right? Because one of them has been out for 16 hours and the other two have been out for months. Which one is, has, you know, had more time to get views? I think the ones that have been out for months at this point. And also they nitpick. They nitpick the fucking trailer. Because, you know, this this one is from the official Xbox channel, but if you type in Indiana Jones game trailer, you get the Bethesda channel and their reveal gameplay trailer. And that one, within a day, has gotten over a million views and is going to probably pass the Rise of Ronin trailer that came out a month ago within the next couple of hours. But hey, guys, let's, let's, these people aren't being disingenuous. These people are being rational. Obviously, it's completely normal to compare the views of a video that came out like 16 hours ago to the views of a video that came out four months ago. That that makes perfect sense, right? Because those videos have had the equal opportunity to gain views. But shut the fuck up, dude. It's the dumbest shit. Anyway, boys, I think that's it for this video. I'm sure that there will be lots of Indiana Jones salt in the coming weeks, months, just in the coming months up until it's released, there's going to be PlayStation fanboys complaining about the game and after release, they'll be pissed that the game's good and it's on their platform. So I look forward to that and if you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.